Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lobotomy Corporation for day 43. We have two more days, I believe, before we need to do a memory repository, and there's a couple of things that I want to try and do. The first thing is we're going to test some abnormalities at the beginning of this episode. You guys suggested I should test uh, Nothing There and Melting Love to see if these are one that we want to try to break out. And ideally, we may even try to get these A-loves done if we can do a good job and also complete the Virtue of the Soul mission for Hakma. Now, the next day, my plan is probably try to do Tefra's Core Suppression, at least get it done. I want to get Geber's mission done. I want to get Tefra's Core Suppression done. I want to at least try to get these before we do a reset. We're definitely going to have to do a memory repository. But I at least want to try to get these done within the next two days. I want to try to get Geber's mission done and then Tefra's Core Suppression because I have a hunch knowing what we had to do up here that Gebra is going to have to require Tefreth's core suppression. So we at least want to get this done so that we can do Gebra's and I want to get Tefreth's done when we have a bunch of uh, stats on our employees because we're going to lose our stats and it's not going to be great. So you guys have mentioned, uh, you know, some very helpful tips back and forth and I really do appreciate it. Uh, we, you can see here, Kevin has a new gear to handle. Um, uh, what's your name? Melting Glove, there we go. Man, brain just like completely... I, I said it earlier, it just completely skipped from my brain. But anyway, um, so we have Kevin down there. We've equipped gear. We have our little um, sacrifice down here, uh, to put it kindly, for nothing there to test that out. Uh, we will also be doing... We'll probably be doing Silent Orchestra because you guys have said Silent Orchestra is not too terrible. It's just as long as you're prepared for it. And then we'll probably try Meatball as our main ones. Uh, we might see what happens with nothing there. We may reset the day. And eventually I do want to do Apocalypse Bird, but Apocalypse Bird will probably be during one of the memory repositories. I don't think I'm ready just yet. Or it might even be during Tefra's core suppression because we're at a point where that could happen and I'm not looking forward to it, but we're going to try it anyway. So that's kind of the plan for the next couple of episodes. Hope you guys are enjoying it per usual. If you guys have any more feedback or if you have any tips on what I should do before day 45, before we reset, um, then let me know down below. But otherwise, we're going to get this day started and test out these two down here and see what happens. Okay, here we are. So let's go down here and let's take a look. We have plenty of nuggets that are going to be probably sacrificed at the very beginning of this episode. Um, I'm not going to buy gear uh, just because, well, you know what? Actually, we could buy some gear from Al Rune if we really wanted to, but I'm not too terribly worried about it. I think we're going to get that anyway. Uh, Melting Love. So we know that we got to do repression work, and you guys mentioned to say make sure you have some uh, black resistant armor and then do repression. So we might do that. So we're going to go ahead and start. We'll probably do this one. And I'm worried that Kevin's not going to be enough down here. And I, but it says it doesn't spread as long as, you know, well, let's just test it out. Let's get rid of Kevin in here. Let's do repression work. It's going to be a 27%. Kevin should live. If he doesn't, well, that's another problem entirely. We're going to probably do a couple of day resets. That's fine. You can see Kevin's barely taking any damage from that, um, but he is hurt. That is fine. We're going to see what happens when Melting Glove escapes, because I think it says just do repression work. Uh, let's see. Counter Droplin died. Hmm. It's somewhere in there. You guys mentioned it, so we're just going to do tests. I think it's just going to make her countdown go down. Nothing crazy yet. Um, so we'll do that again, let Kevin heal up. And then we will... Uh, I guess we'll reset the day and try nothing there, unless this goes well. I don't. I can't imagine it will go well, um, but I would like just to see what's going to happen. So if Kevin is healed up, I'm going to do this two more times, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're getting at the very end of Melting Gloves' last uh, repression work to let her escape. Now, we can see here that Kevin is being assaulted quite quickly, so we're going to get him out of there. We can see Melting Love has about 1,500 uh, HP. Oh, wow. Hello. Look at that. Okay, so I'm probably going to go ahead and kill some clerks. You know, if this goes well, then maybe we'll keep going. I don't know. We probably should test nothing there, but then again, if I can get all these abnormalities done and over with, I don't think I'll complain too much. So what we want to do is I probably want to keep her in here. I'm just going to go ahead and execute bullet every single clerk that we have in here. I'm going to get Kevin out of there, and we're going to see what we can do here. We're going to try to get Danzy and all of them down here to help fight. Um, we ideally want to kind of stop her there. Granted, these guys are on the other side of the facility, so there is that to consider. So I'm going to do the little trick here that we have. And let's go ahead and get our deployments going. So Jinsey, Raptor, Pixel. Uh, who else has got my Aleph gear? Uh, we have Hostel and Danzy. They were, or, let's see, we've ordered that suppression. All right, so we've got them, and I think we'd honestly get some of our wav type uh, employees down here. Now, we've got to be careful who we send here. I think Blue Fox would be a good one. 
Uh, granted, we want black resistance, so cappuccino could be good, but they, they're honestly, these guys have not been worked with enough, so they're kind of in trouble, if I'm honest. Um, T would probably be a good one. Mako Vader would be an okay one. Um, Plague would be an okay one. We're just going to get everyone down here that we can to help with this that I don't feel like is going to die immediately. Dolce probably could help a lot. Uh, so I think we'll go, go with that set of employees. I'm going to go ahead and use an HP bullet on Kevin just to get him kind of hunky-dory there for a second. And we'll keep him down here so that he can kind of hold uh, Melting Love here if she doesn't just ignore Kevin, which is very possible. So we're going to see what happens to Kevin here. Now, we do know that she does black damage, so I am going to get a black uh, bullet on Kevin. But he's doing honestly a good bit of work. Oh, wow, look at all the backup here. All right, so I'm going to go and get black bullets on these guys. Uh, they're on top of her. Uh, we are doing pretty good. Danzy took some damage. Kevin took some damage. And just like that, she has been suppressed. No problem whatsoever. No one looks infected. Look at that. Well done, guys. All right, everyone back to their positions. Melting Love is in her cage, and I, or her back in her cell, and I think we'll just kind of keep it as is. We don't see any, any infection status, so I'm going to leave it as is. So that's one a lift done. We have 10 of 10 of our justice, so as long as we have no one die, well, we might just be able to do it. Now, we have to worry about Red, of course, and we have to worry about some of the other ones. Now, Silent Orchestra is going to be the toughie, and I honestly, I think I'm going to get Silent Orchestra out of the way as soon as I can. Now, we are out of Execution Bullets. Now, here's the, here's the kicker, is we have to worry about Red. So when we let Red, when we do Silent Orchestra, because <laughs> we have a couple of different things that can happen here. We don't want Yen to escape, of course, so we don't want to mess with Yang. But Cloud and Monk's going to escape when enough Nuggets die, as you guys like to call them. So when we have Silent Orchestra Breakout, uh, Red's going to be at uh, 1. And then Cloud and Monk will probably escape due to the uh, Nugget deaths. And then that would also make Mountain of Smiling Bodies escape as well. But I believe there's a way for us to get Mountain of Smiling Bodies to escape anyway. So we might be able to go ahead and handle that. But I need more execution bullets in all honesty. And I think what I'm going to do for Silent Orchestra, I'm going to go ahead and prep. I'm not going to fight Silent Orchestra this round uh, because I want my bullets back to protect our employees. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and take out some nuggets, get rid of them here in the central command team. Um, and of course, you know, we're going to have to worry about we're going to have to worry about having enough to get Meatball to escape. But honestly, if I can have enough nuggets to wear. Oh, we're out of bullets. OK. If I have enough nuggets to not worry about even Cloud and Monk escaping and we can just force uh, Mountain of Smiling Bodies out uh, by just working with it, I think that's about... Ooh, also we have to worry about Parasite Tree. Yeah, I, oh, I forgot about you. Also, you guys mentioned that, hey, as long as you click on them, they should be fine. So there is also that to consider. So let's go ahead and send Pixel Gamer in there. And let's kind of be... Let's treat the day normally right now. We'll move on to uh, Clive Love Meltdown 2. And honestly, I'm not going to worry about nothing there right now. We had a really good suppression on Melting Love, and I think I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, so we'll get Kevin back in there. Actually, no, because we have been 18% with uh, Melting Love. So let's not do that, actually. Um, now then, what was Alrune's? Yeah, we just need a medium result, right? So I think I was doing attachment work. So yeah, we'll send Kevin back in there, work with Alrune. And like I said, we'll treat the day as normal. Send people to get their stats up. Now, stats aren't going to matter really all that much when we do the repression or the uh, memory repository, but... Might as well try to get them up as soon as we can. So I'm going to get to work on that, get to where we can have uh, our next day, our next Clyfoth Meltdown, and then uh, we'll work with hopefully beating Silent Orchestra, because I kind of want to get Silent Orchestra out of the way. Okay, so Kevin did too good of a job with Alrune, so we may have some uh, some nuggets die anyway. Um, so we got to stop Alrune wherever she's at, and we do have some employees that are somewhat better. They're not great, but they do have better gear on this floor. Now... Are they going to go insane trying to find this thing? Maybe it could happen, but we're going to send them in here and try anyway. We'll see what happens if they die. Well, I learned a very hard lesson. And as you can see here, they're taking some damage. Actually, they're not really taking any damage at all, um, which is great. I'm going to keep an eye on down here and make sure. Oh, OK, yep. Time to leave everyone out. There you go. Everyone get back in. Oh, OK. That nugget died. That's fine. All right. So where's our Rene now? Our Rene is down here. Um, we have no execution bullets, so these are just going to die. We may have. Cloud and Monk escape, but that's fine. If we get to the point where Meatball escapes, we just need to make sure that we have our bullets to deal with that. So we may be dealing with that sooner rather than later. Now, the problem is, is that, uh, well, as you can see here, we don't have a lot of people that can deal with this. Um, 
we're going to send our HE classes in here and hopefully not have anything terrible happen, but uh, we'll see. Uh, what do you do? Okay, white damage? So we can go and get... Uh, no, we can't, we can't get a white bullet because... Uh, oh, okay. Well, we have these guys for back up here. All righty. Well, a lot of people just died, so that's great. Um, so we lost Delaney. We lost Mako. So we lost two employees, I think. I, that You know what? That could have been worse. That could have been worse. Uh, but who else is escaping? Is anyone else escaping? Meatballs at two. Okay, so I think we're good. We just had two people die. Oh, Rune, you annoying abnormality. You, you're killing all my employees, and I don't like it. All right. Uh, this day is still salvageable. Uh, we did lose some gear. I don't know what gear we lost. Uh, we lost... Okay, well, we lost both sets of our... Uh, what's that little helper gear, but that's okay, I guess. I just need this thing to go down to the lower floors if it wouldn't mind doing that. Ooh, no, 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 no. You go back here. You chill and don't even try to fight that thing anymore. Uh, we need our grenade. To... <sighs> that's a little closer, I guess. We can send this group up here and kind of handle that for us. They're kind of close, so we'll see if that, um, if these guys can go teach our Rune a lesson here. Have some really loud gear, or <laughs> some of our loud weapons. I'm gonna go and Okay, well that instantaneously happened. All right, it's fine. Man, it just takes so much of your sanity away. I need you to go towards the a of people. Would you mind doing that for me? Is that Would that be too difficult to do? Bottom Monk's at three, Meatball's still at two. That's fine. You're here now, okay. Let's see if we can get these guys in here. Oh, okay. I forgot how annoying this abnormality is. All right, well, and it, the thing is that you can't like it's gone. It's already gone. It, I mean, it's it's already gone. I mean, you can hit it a couple more times, but you know, it's by the time you get employees to where they can hit it, it's 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 already kind of noped itself out, which is obnoxious. But hey, we got these employees. Now, I gotta be careful. We got some employees on here that could possibly die from this. So I'm actually gonna go and get them out. Um, I don't trust that. Uh, they're all level threes, which granted the ones above were as well. But as long as uh. As long as we don't have meatball, okay, meatball's getting ready, and we don't have execution bullets. We've got to take care of our Rune before that happens, because if meatball evolves, then we're starting this day over. Which I ideally kind of don't want, and it looks like it might happen. How many employees do we have down here? A lot. And Pixel Gamer has the blessing. We have one bud, okay. What I could do is go ahead and try to reset the counter so we can go ahead and have some bullets so i might do that we'll send e cord in there actually is e cord no he doesn't all right good we need two more works i'm gonna send kevin no kevin don't do that actually oh we need to do something here i need someone like to quickly get into uh one two three four okay i think we're good on that uh sin how you doing on that who needs attachment work uh no let's just send um let's send luna in there because what I'm afraid is going to happen is that Meatball is going to escape. So we need to... Hopefully that Nugget will get out of there. Okay, good. And that will, Nugget walked in and that's probably going to die. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very good. Punishing Bird's escaped. Um, we need at least one more set of work. Uh, I'm going to send... I don't know who I'm going to send. I don't know what I'm going to... What, what would be best here? Who, who could we have go do something real quick? Just really quickly jump into a cell. Let's see. Water, can you go... We need repression, because we some repression work would be kind of nice, actually. So maybe we can have someone go repression up here. Just need someone really quickly. Just anyone. Yeah, Vincent, go do that. Because I need to get our bullets reset, and honestly, we need to get our Aleph type people down here to handle meatballs. So I'm going to get Dandy down here. Um, I'm going to get Hostile down here. Now, don't get me wrong, we still have to worry about Arune, but I'm worried about... Oh, Red's going to escape, too. Yeah, we definitely need those extra bullets. Okay, cool. Um, we're fine. Everything's everything's totally fine. And I'm going to move Hannah up here. Because once we ball escapes, it's kind of all over for that area. All right, so we have... Ugh, we have an agent going in there. Hopefully that doesn't... Okay, we have Meltdown 1. Good. All right, so cancel that order. Um, meatball is most likely going to escape. So let's go ahead and get that done. Get you out of the way. Get you done. Uh, we have you to worry about as well. Now we need to make sure that we have plenty... Of bullets for protecting our employees. Whoa, that could have been bad. 
Uh, can I get that one to get all of them? No. Okay, leaving one's fine. I think I can leave one and it should be okay. And now we have 10 to worry about for protecting our employees. Uh, that employee's probably gonna die. Tell Rune. Honestly, kind of just makes me not want to work with that abnormality due to this. I'm gonna slow it on time because we're gonna need it. I need to see where it goes so I can immediately be on the ready for it wherever it may end up. Because we need to absolutely... Okay. You guys, can you go obliterate that thing real quick? Can you guys get up there fast enough? Maybe, I hope. Because honestly, we just needed to stop. Uh, it's going to be close. And we got it. Awesome. Okay. So now that that's over with, Meatball is getting a running start. We have all these guys down here ready for it. Uh, we need to work with the tree. So let's go ahead and send Pixel Gamer in there. <laughs> now, <laughs> I can try to get something to escape and kill another... Oh, well this... This is happening much earlier than I wanted it to. Okay. Well. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, and Blue Star escaped too? Oh, right. We had the meltdown. Oh, right. Yeah, I guess that's kind of important, isn't it? I got so enthralled with taking down Arune and getting, um, yeah, and getting my bullets. I forgot to completely do the Clyphoth meltdown. Well. I don't think we can handle all of that, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to hit the retry button. Okay, we're back, and we learned a very valuable lesson of not to forget the uh, Clive Health Meltdowns, and don't get distracted by other things. So, there was that. Um, <laughs> right. So, I'm gonna... I actually might try to do Silent Orchestra pretty early on, uh, just to test and see. I Now that I know how to deal with Melting Love, I'm not too concerned about handling this. This Melting Love was really easy, especially when we got rid of all of the employees in here. Uh, we just have to worry about, you know, bread every once in a while. So, and if I do sound orchestra and I only use a couple of my execution bullets, it might prepare us for meatball. Now, the problem is, is I want to have enough bullets to protect. So, okay. We might need to save some bullets and not do, we might need to go and get rid of some and wait till we have a more opportune time to do that. But save some for meatball can escape and not feel like we have to worry about it absolutely decimating everyone um so i'm gonna go and get rid of everyone in this facility just because i don't think we necessarily need it and i might go ahead and do melting love just to go ahead and not worry about it we have nine bullets left um and that honestly might trigger meatball as well because melting love might kill some of these so i might try to do that granted fighting two a at once uh, you know, it could be dangerous. Could be very dangerous. Ooh, I don't know if I should do that or not, actually. Now that I think about it. I mean, these, okay, this amount of, these amount dying is not going to release amount of smiling bodies, I don't think. How, how many, how many do you need? You need... Well, actually, no, we just need someone wounded. Okay, that's right, some of you mentioned in this comment section. We don't need to worry about killing employees for this. And that would save us a lot of worry. So we just need someone wounded. So we can take someone who is good with working with like, I don't know, let's just say we throw someone who can handle Jump or Big Bird really easily and then throw them into, yeah, we can do that. that. That's easy enough. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So let's worry about doing Melting Love right now. We'll get rid of some of these down here. Because, you know, if we don't have to worry about um nuggets then i think we'll be fine where did kevin go i thought i just I'm, i thought i just destroyed kevin um i think we can work with three bullets to work with melting love so i'm not too worried about that so let's go ahead and get our team to handle her i'm gonna get everyone who is a left gear get you all you guys over here ready to go uh hostile get down here because you guys can take you can take them out pretty easily uh, we don't even need our wild type out uh guys on here so i'm gonna go ahead and get kevin working on repression work with melting love and uh, we'll get to where she breaks out. Okay, so here she is. She is breaking out. Kevin is in a little bit of trouble, but he's fine. We're going to back him up with the rest of our group here. We have six heavily armed employees back here with Raptor, Hostile, Danzy, Pixel Gamer, Jensi, and Kevin. So I think we are good to go on that end. Melting Love is making their way into here. And we are immediately going to start our attack on her when she jumps in. Okay, and everyone go ahead and get ready for suppression. And then we'll use our bullets when we need to make sure everyone's safe and fine. 
And because of Pixel Gamer, um, you guys are able to heal quite well. Uh, and you absolutely obliterating her. I mean, she doesn't stand a chance. So, Melting Love is done. So, what does that mean? Well, we're... Also, what is that? Is that the is that the shield? That's the shield, right? I'm pretty sure that's the shield. That's not something we have to worry about with Melting Love. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so, we're going to get everyone back to their uh, proper stations. And then we're going to worry about World Tree. And then we're going to go ahead and handle Meatball. Uh, you see there's no one in here. We're going to get Hannah out of here. Is that Hannah? How? How? Get Howe out of here, and then we'll bring Kevin over here to help with Meatball. Uh, Meatball should be hopefully relatively easy. Um, I'm not going to bring anyone down here that would possibly get killed because of Meatball. I just don't want to risk it. Our ALF employees are good enough, I think, to handle that. Uh, TU honestly might be... Uh, well, no, TU still got some work that we need to do with her, because uh, unfortunately TU passed away in a couple episodes ago. But we'll get everyone else down here, ALF gear. Um, if they can handle Melting Love, I think they can handle a level 1 Meatball. So we'll have that going. So we'll move everyone down. We'll get Pixel Gamer to work with Parasite Tree. And then we'll have some... Well, actually, we'll probably throw Pixel Gamer right into Mountain of Smiling Bodies because I think Pixel Gamer has some pretty... Yeah, pretty great resistance. Oh, no. Let's close the, close the rabbits. We don't need them. Uh, so we'll get Pixel Gamer in here. Send uh, them into Meatball. And then probably handle Parasite Tree again. I'm not sure which one, but let's go ahead and handle that. Move that forward. And when I get uh, Mountain of Smiling Bodies ready to escape, I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so funny enough, I actually had to send Pixel Gamer into the chamber with nothing there to actually take more damage because Pixel Gamer took almost none from Parasite Tree. So we have to go from nothing there to Mountain of Smiling Bodies or just do something that's like less work. But yeah, Pixel Gamer is handling that. And we might honestly send Pixel Gamer back in here. Uh, almost immediately. Well, granted, we can't because of the timer. But Pixel Gamer heals so fast that uh, it's almost impossible for them to die. So I might send them into Big Bird's chamber. Granted, we don't want Big Bird to escape. Um... But once we do that, so we've got one, one, two, uh, we got to be careful with Parasite Tree. Parasite Tree just, uh, Parasite Tree kind of annoys me because I have to worry about it constantly. But I guess that's point of, that point of the, the abnormality. So I'm going to send Pixel Gamer into another chamber. We'll probably do, you know, I don't know, Big Bird or actually maybe just doing no, another nothing there. Uh, might do a, another instinct work uh, or attachment work uh, just so we take some damage and then go straight back into the Mountain Smiling Bodies. Uh, containment unit so pixel gamer thank you for your service and i think i'm gonna go ahead and send someone to work with parasite tree just to go ahead and get that done granted it really needs to be pixel gamer that goes in there uh so actually what i'll do is get pixel gamer to handle that after i get someone into nothing there's unit and then we'll try to get uh maple to escape okay so raptor's about to enter in mountain smelling bodies containment unit, so i'm gonna go ahead and bring everyone in and we're gonna get ready to fight this thing because i think it might break down may break out immediately yeah, so it breaks out immediately. Raptor's in here. Let's bring Raptor out. Um, and then we also should recognize that Red is at 1, so we need to just make sure everything will be fine up there. But we have all these guys down here to help suppress Mountain of Smiling Bodies. So let's go ahead and get Jinsey, Raptor, Pixel. Uh, go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this the manual, like the hard, kind of the hard command, just so I know that they're fighting it. And then let's make sure Kevin's on there too. So... Everyone is on command to fight Mountain of Smiling Bodies. Let's hope that it goes down quickly. Uh, so far, so good. It is melting. Absolutely melting. Okay, so we've got two of our three Aleph's done and over with. Let's get go ahead and get everyone home. Not worry about that for a second. And now the next one is Silent Orchestra. Now, before then, we really need to get a basic one to escape so we can reset red because I honestly don't want to worry about red at all. So we need to find one that is relatively easy to get out of their containment unit. I would say Alrune, but honestly, I just, I really don't want to deal with it. Uh, we could do Meat Lantern, which would not be too bad, or we can honestly do Scarecrow, which I think would actually be relatively uh, kind of tame to deal with. Oh, we just need to make sure that no one dies from from them. Um, I'm hoping Meat, Meat Lantern is honestly really easy, but I'm hoping it's not in a very... It could be in a very bad spot for your employees to deal with. Granted, if we have red, we just need to make sure we have the bullets to deal with red. So I think I want to go ahead and get uh, this round done, get reset our bullets, use the remaining bullets we have to kind of clean up some uh, nuggets in here so we're not having to deal with meatball escape again. So we'll use those two. And then we'll kind of continue the day like normal and we'll get to the uh, Clothoth Meltdown and deal with those. So I'm going to go and do that and uh, report back to you guys.
Okay, our first meltdown is happening. Nothing too crazy. We have Parasite Tree melting down, which is pretty easy to deal with. Um, and thank you for the tip about clicking on the employees. How here got um got uh, charmed by the Parasite Tree, and I was just able to click on it really easily and to deal with that. So now that I know that, as long as I don't forget about it, um, I don't. Even, I'm honestly probably not going to try to worry about Parasite Tree. Um, uh, Kevin's got some extra work to deal with down here, though. Uh, we also. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. We have a new um tool here. I'm gonna send Kevin in here to grab this and then work with Alvinite. This could be really stupid because I don't know what this is, but you know what? It's fine. What? Oh, okay, something happened to Kevin. Uh, stats are some stats are switched around. Interestingly enough, so I'm gonna actually keep that on him, and we need to make sure that Alrune is kind of middling. So Kevin, please, 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 please don't let her escape. I, I really just, I really don't want to deal with her. Anyway, all right. So we have those going where we need to go. Everything looks good. So now that we have that, it is time for, unfortunately, the great nugget execution. Uh, let's see if we can find anyone that lines up properly. Not really. We're just going to throw some bullets here and there. Uh, okay, that should be fine. Uh, those two lined up. And take you out. Take you out. I want to save some bullets because I think we're going to try to do Silent Orchestra this. Uh, this, um, what is this? Meltdown level. So we're going to try to do that. Probably leaving a few here and there is not going to be bad, but we also need to remember we're going to deal with red. All right, so deal with that. Oh, there's one that was lining up right there. How's all Renee doing? Come on, Kevin. I need you to kind of fail a little bit there, bud. Uh, take you two out. That looks good to me. Anyone else? I mean, there's some here and there, but I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I don't think they're going to force Cloud of Monk to escape, but I'm going to take out more than I can. I just need to make sure I have enough bullets to handle all phases. So I think I might leave about three out. Uh, Kevin looks like is is going to help Arune escape, which I I really don't want to be honest. Um, what do we need for? We need 15 boxes. Come on, Kevin, you can do it. For nine, 10, 11. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Fail a little bit. There you go, bud. That's what I like to see. Never thought I would be saying really excited about someone failing at something. But anyway, there we go. All right, so we're not dealing with Arune anymore. Nothing else is breaking down. So, now then. The big problem. Silent Orchestra. We have a couple of nuggets running around. Um, I have eight bullets to kind of go with what I've got. Now, if we break out Silent Orchestra right now, Little Red is going to escape as well. So... What we probably should do is wait till after we're done with the Red Dawn and then do it. So we want to get for something to escape now, aka, I don't know, Meat Lantern. We can do Meat Lantern and have that happen. So, you know, we'll send Riot Harton down here, get Meat Lantern to escape, deal with Red, and then next, or kind of next round, we'll, um, we'll work on Silent Orchestra. So I think that's kind of the call. I'm going to take a few more nuggets. I'm going to save some bullets for when Red escapes. Um, we need to make sure that everyone is kind of in a in the same area as each other because Red's going to immediately escape and we're going to immediately want people in here. So I think I'm just going to go and prepare for that. And in all honesty, I'm going to send our A-lifts up here. We're, we're going to get them up here. I'm going to leave Kevin down here now. Uh, we just need to make sure we don't work with Melting Love until we're done fighting Silent Orchestra. So let's get everyone in here and get ready for Red to escape because he is going to escape. We know that's going to happen. I mean, he's going to have a target and he's going to hurt a lot of people. So we want to take Red down or her. I think it's actually Red is a her in this one. Um, so we're going to take that out. All right. Meat Lantern is escaping. Now I got to be careful with Meat Lantern. I need to send people to handle Meat Lantern as quick as possible because they're going to kill Nuggets. Okay, Meat Lantern has escaped, which means Red's going to escape. Now, where did Meat Lantern go? That's the... That's... I always love playing hide-and-go-seek with Meat Lantern. Oh, right there. That's a terrible spot. In all honesty, really bad spot. Um, We need to have... What is your weakness? Pale and red. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Let's just uh, see who we have. Information training team. Uh, Do we have any range? Yes. We can have Vincent go help with that. We can have... You go help with that. What about on this side? Uh, we have a couple of people. We can have Rogan. Granted, Rogan needs to go down this way and handle that. But I... Th oh, yeah. Those, like, you know what? Just to... Sorry. You guys are going to walk right into it. I'm not going to deal with that. Um, I need all these guys down here to handle this. So if I can find a couple of employees with some ranged weapons just to handle that. 
Uh, we have a couple here and there, but I'm afraid they're going to go the wrong way. So I think I'm just going to have those two go in there and take care of that. Okay, no, I need I need you to die. Sorry. Uh, that's all the bulls I'm using because I need the rest for red. Oh, I see the process has already started. I need to slow down like a lot. Okay. Everyone in this region has taken damage in some factor. I just can't see it. Um, right. I can't see anyone's health. Uh, how we, how we feeling? How, oh, we're feeling terrible. We're feeling absolutely terrible. Um, granted, these guys should not be here. Robertus, water has taken a lot of damage and Ray has taken a lot of damage. All right, hang on. Let's just, where's water at? We don't want water to die. I can't see water. I think that's water. I'm going to throw an HP bullet in there. And maybe throw another red bullet somewhere, somehow. Who is this? Mako Vader? How's Mako Vader doing? Like, I just need, I need to check everyone's HP here. How we feeling? Are we feeling okay? Mako Vader, where you at, bud? I want to make sure you don't die. Mako Vader is just about to die. Okay, well, that's good to see here. Let's throw another bullet on you. Who's the target? I need to get everyone behind red. Okay, there's all my HP bars, which is great. I'm going to throw one on Robertus. I, I can't tell who my target is. That's the problem here. Okay, guys. Sorry I haven't been talking. I kind of went into focus mode because of everything that was happening here. Uh, Mako Vader almost died, and we're almost out of bullets, so I'm going to get him out of there. Uh, we did lose one, but it wasn't any of our named employees, which is good. Pixel Gamer. Dolce might get hurt here. I'm not entirely sure, but unfortunately... I need, I need Gen C to go back on to attack duty here. Uh, I'm going to have to play this really carefully. Um, like I said, there's probably a time where I wasn't talking just because I was trying to focus on what was going on. Um, I need Monko Vader and Raptor's uncontrollable. Why is Raptor uncontrollable? Raptor, I need you to be on... Where's Raptor? I'm assuming the tree is controlling Raptor, which is very unfortunate because we actually need Raptor to help. I don't know where Raptor is. I can't worry about Raptor at the moment. Okay, so Dolce's being attacked. That's fine. Um, Danzy can attack from the front. Pixel Gamer needs to go over here and then attack. And I don't have any more bullets to help with this. But you guys are doing a bunch of damage. I, I don't have the bullets to help Dolce, though. I think Dolce might bite the dust, unfortunately. We need Hostile in here. Uh, let's keep everyone else kind of out of there. Can you guys kill Red before Dolce dies? That's the question. Maybe. Red is honestly, you can, ha Red's easy to handle, but if it gets out of control, Red is very dangerous, but we're, we've got it. One person died. Let's go ahead and get everyone home. Oh, that was tough. I don't, I think Ray died. And then wherever Raptor is, Raptor, what, what the heck? Where are you at? Stop that. C come here. You, you you were needed. You were needed. You were too busy wondering about a tree. Ah, uh, disappointed. Anyway, let's get everyone back home. Uh, we're going to worry about... Uh, what's it called? We're going to worry about Silent Orchestra next run. Or not next run, but next meltdown. So we'll handle that. Oh, but this is a long, long day. I'm already 40 minutes of the recording, and we've already kind of dealt with all that. So... We got this still. We're still good on 10 of 10. We just make sure those employees don't die. Um, Kevin's down there. We probably could have got Kevin up here to help. We could we could have been more prepared for that, but uh, Meat Lantern died. That's fine. Now, what gear did we lose here with Ray? We lost some of the Scarecrow gear. Not that bad. We're going to go ahead and just boop, boop. There we go. All right. No problem. So, now what? Well, next we're going to do Silent Orchestra in Meltdown 3. And then once we do that... We're not going to do any more breakouts. We're going to finish the day. We're going to get these two missions done, and then we're going to call it a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of get through some of this uh, kind of boring work, as you would call it. Um, actually, Kevin still has his item down here, and I don't think it should kill him, but I do want to know what this does. Stats regarding justice will increase greatly when behavior adjustment is equipped. However, all stats regarding prudence will drop at the same time. The wearer will enter a panic in order to return before, within 30 seconds. Um... Oh, so as long as you don't hit SP, then you got just a quick, like, massive justice increases. Huh. Yeah, plus 30. Wow. 
I, you know, we'll keep that on Kevin. Why not? Sure. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Uh, once again, this group right here, Blue Fox, uh, Peaceful, Hitch, uh, Ecord, Cappuccino, they're all working up here. They're getting their stats up. So just kind of give you an idea of what's been going on. Um, just kind of working on everyone's stats. Water is still alive and still has their uh, equipment. I locked those in so you won't lose it. But yeah, that's kind of the status of things. Now let's get back to it. Okay, so we're back with some just basic Crimson Dawn. Uh, nothing too crazy. We just got to get, you know, these little guys dead. No problem whatsoever. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy going on in the facility just yet. We're still kind of just meandering along. Now I am going to prepare to do Silent Orchestra after we get this uh, ordeal done. Just because it is, well, that time again, we have enough bullets to kind of take out anything else we need to do uh, to get ready for Silent Orchestra. So we take out the, the Nuggets. Um, but I am trying to get these little clowns out of my facility so that we're not having to deal with them. Not too many across the board. There's some here and there. There's also one in the floor. Oh, never mind. I thought that was in the floor. It's hard to see what's going on in Bina's uh, part of the facility sometimes. Um, but yeah, we just... Did, they already, did that one already teleport? It did. Wow. You little jerk. Okay. They teleported rather quickly. Oh, jeez. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to handle the, these little guys. You guys know what happens with this ordeal. Nothing nothing too crazy. They just like to try to make things escape, you know? Nothing bad. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start the process of working with and defeating Silent Orchestra. Now, I need to figure out who I want to send in here. I mean, we may use Flesh Idol for this one, uh, but I want someone that could probably tank a good bit. Now, we have a ton of users down here that can do black damage. Um, but I definitely need the damage, so I'm not entirely sure if we want to do that or not. I am going to keep Pixel Gamer, I think, in the arena, because I think Pixel Gamer can heal anyone in the room. Now, I could be wrong, but if we keep him, like, at the edge here, um, and I think he'll stay out of the edge of blue um, of Silent Orchestra's range anyway, so we may just keep Pixel Gamer in the, the room to kind of have that passive heal going on. So once, once we get Silent Orchestra out of its containment unit... Then we'll just have, I think, like I said, I'm going to have Pixel Gamer just kind of chilling. I think it's, I think Silent Orchestra is going to spawn here. So I think that's where we're going to have it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'll kind of layer our forces. So, you know, we, we know that uh, it's movements. We know that it starts with pale and then black damage and then white damage and then red. So we have, uh, we have pale over here. We have black damage over here white and then red is that right did i just read that right yes yes okay so then what we'll do is we'll kind of unfortunately um raptor is going in alone on this one for that part of the fight but pixel gamer will be there just to support with healing then we'll like once raptor starts attacking we'll put the um we'll take the black team i've already forgotten the I've already for I, this is important for me to know uh yes we'll take the black team and they'll come in here they'll be led down here ready to go and they'll bring the, we'll bring them up and then once we'll do that we'll bring raptor out we'll then layer this team down here send them up and then we'll take this team uh we'll send all of these people back and then we'll send them up so we're gonna have to do some very careful coordination but i think i can do it it's just about if, hopefully we have the damage threshold there so i'm gonna get silent orchestra ready to break out and then we'll move on and hopefully hopefully beat our last alif here also, I, don't, I really don't know what I was thinking. I literally could have just done attachment work, let Danzy do a good job instead of like taking down Danzy Sandy. But anyway, we're going to fast forward through this and get ready to see if my plan is going to work at all. Let's go ahead and get Raptor staged in here. I want to go and get Raptor. Come on, Raptor. There you go. Get Raptor in here ready to go ahead and attack as much as possible as soon as they can. So we have Raptor in here with Pixel Gamer. I'm going to just have Pixel Gamer always attacking, I think. Um as much as we can so let's go ahead and slow down progress and get ready oh hang on wait a minute whoa 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 no 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 raptor no 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 you have a job to do a very important job to do get back to your station whoa that could have been terrible all right raptor you gotta get there as soon as possible come on we don't have time for your shenanigans today all right so the curtains have closed and opened for hopefully the final act of the Alif Abnormality Destruction episode. So we're going to get... Yep, Raptor in here. Kind of handling as much as we can. So we know this is the movement one. All right, so Raptor's doing damage good. Doing pretty good damage. So let's go ahead and layer our... Black damage? It's black, right? Hang on. Let's make sure once again. Yes, okay. So let's go ahead and get these guys down here ready to go. 
pull all of you in. Raptor is doing an awesome job right now. All right, so we know this is happening. All right, get everyone in here. Now, I probably have some employees that don't need to be in here because you can see here, Raptor. Raptor's losing sanity really quickly. Like, really quickly. Um, so we need to be careful of that. But we're already a quarter of the way through, which is great. I'm going to have these guys selected, ready to go. Oh, yeah, this is going to be tough. But we're already, we're already halfway there. Not half, well, a little, a little less than halfway, all right. But Raptor's already done. Okay, movement two, all right, so let's move, move everyone up. And let's get Raptor out of here. So Raptor, you move back in there if you don't mind. Oh, they had to go around that way? Oh, that's not how I thought that worked. That's unfortunate, okay. Oh, come on, guys, come on, come on, come on, get in there. We, we can't, okay, so now that we have that, we need to layer our red team. No, 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 white team. Uh, and actually, we're gonna leave them in here. We're gonna leave them in here, because that'll be actually probably quicker for them. All right, so we have that team going in. Now we need to keep an eye on everyone's health. We're over halfway there. We have Pixel Gamer providing support in terms of healing. Movement three already, really? Okay, uh, right, that's not great. Let's send everyone in here. Let's get everyone else out of here, uh, besides Pixel. And honestly, I might just go ahead and get red team in here just to attack for so when we're ready. I, I Honestly, I know that's gonna hurt them, and we, it only has 300 health left, so, you know, it should be fun. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, we did it. We did it. All right, great. That was, okay, that became increasingly easier as we went along, and everyone survived. We suppressed Silent Orchestra. I was really worried about that one, but we actually did okay. Well, look at that. Okay, well. Guys, I think we've completed two missions, and we've completed Gebra's mission. Oh, that's, that feels good. All right, thank you guys for all the help on that, man. I wouldn't have been able to do that probably as quickly as I did without your input and advice, so greatly appreciate you guys. So let's go ahead and get through this day. We have a purple noon coming up. Really thought that was going to be a lot big of a deal, but we, we did it. Cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we're about to start the purple noon just to kind of keep, keep you updated of what's going on this up or like during my kind of playthrough. But yeah, I, I made sure that we had everyone out of the out of their departments. We have some nuggets left over here and there, um, but we're just going to start the purple noon, get it over with. Shouldn't be too bad. We're just going to send someone to work with. Yeah, we're going to send like Evan in here to work with. Uh, 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 what, what is your name again? One sin, 100 good deeds. So we're going to do that. Probably some nuggets are gonna die, but as long as it's not, you know, a ton, then we'll be fine. Like, that one's probably gonna die. Surprisingly, it's already shooting that one, which is incredible, but... Oh, I forgot to get everyone out of here. Okay, y'all should be fine, though. I don't think... Let's skip that one. Yeah, actually, y'all were fine. Um, in fact... Did... What just happened here? Did all of our... No, okay, no, good. Ooh, I thought all of our employees died here, up here, but... Interestingly enough, none of them really landed down here, which is kind of surprising. I'm actually going to send help for these guys up here. Send you guys in here. Send you guys in there. Um, you guys can go handle that one. Granted, these are HE class, so I probably need to send help throughout the facility um, to help everyone out because we do have very few employees that can actually handle these. So, yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to handle this real quick. I'm hoping this shouldn't be too bad. We do have this one right here. And honestly, these guys might be able to handle this one on their way up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to set on time. Make sure I keep an eye on this. Make sure nothing goes too kind of awry. Um, so you can see here that these guys are eliminating this one really quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish this up. I'll let you know if anything catastrophic happens. OK, well, nothing catastrophic happens. So I'm going to continue this episode. We're about a, over a quarter left. Um, so I think not over a quarter, less than a quarter left of the day. So it should be pretty smooth sailing from here. I say that, but Meatball looks like they're ready to uh, wind up and go, but it'll be fine. I think everything will kind of go smoothly and then we can end the day, get some story out of the way and then plan our next episode. OK, guys, we've eat, reached the end of the day. Uh, I can almost let Arune melt down, but uh, it's fine. We got to her in time, but yeah, pretty pretty good day i would have to say we completed two objectives um i'm gonna go in the day we have no negative effects i i'm not gonna worry about the boxes of Raul renee actually i kind of do need to let's see what kevin does if it escapes uh if we notice it's going to escape then we will um go ahead in the day early but let's go and get these boxes at least for us because they will be beneficial i don't think i've <gasps> Ooh, okay let's not send i get to send another i knew i was forgetting something i knew i was forgetting something one of these tools broke down and i'm oh man i almost let send die sorry right, sim all right, but we're going to let... Golly, no boxes really for you. All right, well, 
that should be fine. But let's go in the day. And day 43 is done. We lost one employee, but that's okay. It was one of our, I would, I hate to say it, but you know, one of our uh, expendables. Um, but none of you guys died, which is great. Uh, we had some good stat increases, I think. Let's go ahead and see what's next for us. Okay, well, hang on a second. We don't have anywhere to put this, but I guess I'll go ahead and pick one. All right, so in the name of love of justice, here comes Magical Girl. All right. If a flaw in the system disables the sensors covering... Okay, we've seen that one. I'm avoiding that one like the plague. Over time, her unbearable sorrow grew into a mournful obsession covered in countless lengthy hairs. Okay. I want to pick one of these. But I'm gonna make sure that it's not well actually I don't actually know which one. Let me let me check my notes real quick. Okay, so far none of these match up to anything you guys have requested. So I think I'm just gonna have to go by description. In the name of love and justice, here comes magical girl. Over time her unbearable sorrow grew into a morning reception, covered in countless lengthy hairs. And then of course this one that we've seen several times, and I almost feel like I should pick it at this point, but I don't really know. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? This one sounds interesting. Because, I don't know, it just it calls me. There we go. Alright, your scenario is reaching an end soon. Just do as you've done before. Although the energy you've collected will not be supplied to the outside, that doesn't mean your work was for nothing, or that this place no longer serves a purpose. My goal? Are you finally asking me now, after all this time? Of course, that is the same as yours. The conclusion of the script we have. If not, I wouldn't have a reason to go through all this trouble just to help you. Oh, it's a rabbit! Alright, anyway. Because we we finally beat Gebra's mission. Oh, finally. I probably could have done that much sooner, but I wanted to be prepared, so. Anyway. Listen, I know Lobotomy Corporation is an important client and all, but don't you guys renew the contract too often? This place is so grimy, it's like a dungeon. I always get a bad vibe. Please hold for a moment, Rabbit Captain. We need to explain what we're doing here to the manager. Oh, he still doesn't know who I am? Go on, explain it quickly then. This must be the first time you've participated in a meeting with an outside party manager. As was mentioned a few times prior, our company has initiated contracts with some of the other wings for sustainable development and business opportunities. And also, it is also my job to renew those contracts with our associate wings when the moment arises. All that is needed from you is to be our token manager and present yourself in that role. I shall handle the rest of the formalities and procedures. Pff, associate wing? What is with that boring introduction? You may feel too you may feel free to provide more detailed information at a later time in private. Mayo? For now, let's start the meeting. Speaking of, would you be so kind to remove your helmet, at least for duration of the meeting? You're kidding. The helmet, the whole identity of the rabbits? Well fine, it's whatever. I don't know what I was expecting this character to look like, but it wasn't that. I just gotta brief uh the con uh the content of the contract from my end, right? I mean uh, I'm so sick of reading this out over and over. You can just look at the contract, the whole damn thing. Do I really have to say it one more time? I like how she's doing like the. I, I know that probably didn't pick up on the mic, but like it's. Uh, I don't. I don't know what kind of. I don't know how to describe that face, but yeah, that little like a, uh, kind of annoyed. Anyway, as I informed you prior, it's part of the formal procedure. I myself have to specify whether or not you agree to the terms again. Still as strict as ever, aren't you? Now let me to explain our services first. Company R will provide military support and protection from all external threats to Company L. So Company Lobotomy, Lobotomy Corp. I wonder what this, Company Rabbits, I guess? Anyway, every branch of Lobotomy Corporation will be included under the term Company L. However, there will be certain exceptions where a branch may not be considered under the designation. Well, I say exceptions, but we're willing to let it slide unless it involves the head or the eye. Okay, I also like how Gebber's just standing here just not saying a word. Company L will provide the energy Company R needs to maintain its operation. The renewal process also includes a prerequisite that invokes a mutual and continu uh, continual agreement between Company W and Company L. Okay, got, got another company name. And let's see, Company L will provide all specialized ammunition utilized for ki the killing of abnormalities. All Rabbit Team members will have their memories erased after the completion of their missions. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. There will be no questions or concerns raised about the uh, pecu peculiarity of the facilities or purposes of this location. And finally, I, as the captain of the Rabbit Team, will deploy my team following Company R's guidelines and assume the role of command for operations taking place in this facility. That should be everything, looking through the written contract for finer details. 
there's been no change in agreement with Company W. Along with that, a renewal period will be one year just as before. Yeah, sure, it's one year for you, but uh, okay then. On a side note, I can you please do something about the teleporter to make the process a bit smoother? It feels like my body's being taken apart piece by piece and then thrown out the window. I'm afraid you will need to ask Company W about that. It's out of our control. Hmm, Gabber, why do you have uh why do you have such an expression? Why are little bunnies being let out of their cages and disp dispatched here of all places? You must really not know a thing if you're looking down on the rabbits. It's already been concluded that the rabbits are the most fit for honorable task of slaughtering in this place. The rhinos would most certainly smash the entire place beyond recognition. Okay. And the reindeer, with the exception of the machines that work here, could cause irreversible damage to Mr. Manager over there. What, are the, what, what is the reindeer? Miss Angela made explicitly clear not to hurt or affect the manager. We always pay special attention to our clients' requests. I'm not talking about your damn rhinos or deer. I'm saying that we can handle our own problems. We don't need outsiders to interfere. We did pretty good last episode, I think. I, I kind of agree with Gabbro there. What's that? You can do... Uh, what can you do with that flimsy tin body of yours, huh? You seem much weaker than us now. Can't you see that? If you're... If you were like how you were once back in the day, then maybe it'd be a different story. Gabra was once like as a human, I guess she was part of the um, rabbits I had to assume. But look at you now, as soon as you set foot in the back streets, you're torn limb by limb by those sweepers. The old days when you shredded everything before you until red mist is now lost to the past. Things have changed, you should realize that. If I wanted to, I could tear up any tiny rabbit like you in seconds. Please everyone, we need to focus on the topic at hand. Gebra, our agreement with the rabbit team is to help us be prepared for the worst case scenario that will be beyond our own abilities. I'm certain that you have learned this from your experiences with previous suppressions. The combat skills of the mercenaries sent to us by Company R are on par with those of, of other wings. We can handle our problems on our own perfectly fine. I can prove it right here right now if you want. We did handle three Aleps, I, th I think, we're, I think I'm, I'm, I'm with Gebra on this one. I've compiled the statistics. The amount of data is too vast for any person to calculate, with my exception, of course. The reason I continue to contract with uh, to contract with the rabbits is that the risk of involving outsider pales to the potential of our worst-case scenarios. They're worth every penny. However, the rabbits will not intervene with general suppression. Please calm down and analyze the situation reasonably, Gebra. Dot dot dot. That should be all for renewing our contract. Gebra is the one in charge of basic suppression process, so if you need any advice or help regarding combat, just ask her. I'm afraid I don't have a single itty bitty question for you. We rabbits have our own way of handling things. Nor do I have anything left to say to you filthy animals. You've done your business now, how about you bunny hop away now? See, you're being so harsh to follow native of the back streets. You wouldn't happen to be mad at me because I made fun of you earlier, are you? Don't act like you know me, I'm not the mood for your stupid games, so just shut up. Aha, uh -huh, I get it now. You're mad because you feel we interrupt your fight, aren't you? Yeah, I don't need any help from the likes of you. Well, it's not like you were here for greater cause or some ulterior motive. We just drop by quickly when we're called and vanish without a trace, just the same when it's time. I thought you were li just like me, finding joy in the slaughter. Ah, there's the evil face. I was wondering when that was come out. But as it turns out, you're just crazy. A complete wacko. Dot dot dot. We're the rabbits. Oh, and the music changed. We're the rabbits who hop around following orders to find fresh patches of grass, but you're different. You used to know who you were supposed to fight, who your enemy was. You wouldn't believe how shocked I was to find you. I never expected to see the fabled hero like, well, this, and in a drab basement too. The hero I remember was someone who wasn't afraid of shedding blood to protect others with her all or her might. Please don't taint the fond memories I have of you. Oh, there's the original Gabra, but... All the abnormalities have broken out. Everyone here is done for. Dead, all of them. Oh, her original name was Callie. Okay. Probably, but then there won't be any survivors left. Abnormalities aren't something we can handle on our own. You're in danger too, ma'am. You best escape now. Gabra, I'm going to take part of the experiment pretty soon. Okay, that's Christopher. We'll probably, we'll probably see each other again, but just in case, I want to say one thing. Please take care of Isabel and my little Gilly while I'm gone. Gilly. Gilly and Isabel. I feel like I know these names, I just don't remember. Angela. Are abnormalities able to feel human emotion when confronted with a person of close relation? What choice would they make when faced with such a situation? The experiments seem to have yielded the expected results. Excuse me, Lady Angela. Should, what should I do with these? There's a blanket and a few feeding bottles left. 
I've gotten all the results I need from this experiment. The owners are no more, so you can simply discard them. Hey, 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 did you put a shutdown or what? I really should be going. Well, I didn't think next time we meet it would be such calm waters. Rabbits will leave now. Dot, dot, dot. I'm definitely not a, the hero. Never have been, never will be. Mission, our work, complete a midnight ordeal. I knew it was coming. Oh, I was wondering when we were going to hit that. Okay. This honestly could be done in Tephereth Suppression, so that kind of feel, like feeds into the point of where next episode might be Tephereth Suppression. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm curious what, what you guys think. So, mission, our work. And because we have the memory repository after this next episode, I think we should be okay. Unless we have to reset today. You guys let me know. Do we have to reset today or do we have one more day left? But midnight ordeal. Ugh. All right, anyway, Bina. Erstwhile, the world in which you stayed was once luminous. There was the sun, the moon, and also the clouds and winds that floated around them. It was a world of light, so to speak. But you couldn't st stay there. You were robbed of innumerable things. You lived with a broken heart, clinging to the void where pieces of your heart used to be. No one could understand your pain nor embrace you. Eternal loss dominated you. I was one of the thieves who robbed you of the countless things. While I was at the top of the world, I watched you and looked down on your struggle. Not just you. I've seen many others that struggled. Those attempts were no less futile than insect writhing. All I had to do was simply stomp, stomp on them a couple times. But among them, there were some who would grit their teeth and climb up, dragging their broken bodies. It seemed that there was going to be another fun little trip, so I would drink a cup of tea before leaving with light steps. But as you can see, an unexpected encounter with the red mist got the best of me. <laughs> I, I guess it's like a laugh, like, ha huh? and then you... <laughs> I can't, like, I can't not say that and laugh myself. I don't, I, I, for some reason I think of Mickey Mouse. Anyway, anyway. Uh, and then you inflicted as much suffering upon me as I did to you, didn't you not? You were familiar with how to break the mind without utilizing torture or violence. After everything was done, you gathered up every little bit of what was left by, of my humanity, and you threw them into the into this pit until even my spirit sw soured and rotten. Or rotted. Maybe you should tell yourself that I deserve worse than that. Therefore, you're an upholder of justice who has defeated the evil now. But I must ask, why is the that grand and righteous upholder standing here making himself out as a prisoner like I. And what happened to that coward, the one with, uh, who with fear averted his gaze from my dying one? Why is he down here, suffering the same punishment as I? See, there cannot be a sight more satisfying than this for me. It is all that idealism of hers came to be? You've dragged down your heroine with your own hands. Do you truly believe that your duty completes itself just for shedding tears at the funeral of the innocent. I feel like Bion is having some kind of monologue that I'm just like, I'm just supposed to sit there and nod like, yep, mm-hmm, yep, sure. But he never even let their bodies rest in peace. Ironically, you found a hope in all this misery, the raw material of the bucket and the path to the river of all. Out of her, you made the bucket and you started to send it down, down into the wells of the people. I think she's talking about Angela and Carmen. Carmen, who is now Angela. The bucket rises from the well of a, per of a person filled with water that can only be drawn up by that, that person, an ancient fount that has been flowing at the bottom even before the birth of the world. Now it is simply, uh, now it is simply is drawn regardless of the consent of that person. When the bucket that holds the faded ideal of hers comes into contact with the ego of another person, a certain change occurs. Ask her about the change. Maybe it's difficult to understand only by listening. Whoa, okay. How about this? I could show you one of her miracles. It's taxing, but for you, I'll gladly do it. It's like numbers and symbols. The people selected long ago are waiting their turns. I bring them here as according to the register. Let me introduce one to you. This one is nameless. He has nothing left, for he has abandoned all that he has. he is a long time ago. For him, things like the remnants of the past or pain of the present don't matter. He only stares into the future. Did you dream well? Employee. Okay, so this is like the employees that get put down here. It's like the graves. Yes, you'll finally dream for as long as you want, or one that you will never wake up from. The employee will inject him with cognito soon. What river flows in you, what world lies in you. There, the, okay, the, I could do without the music box. Creeping me out, man. 
There are many worlds as there are people. Discovering them is rather fun. Just a list of dots. Okay, dot dot dot, grr, grr, okay. No one must see this. That is why they adjust the level of Cogito according to my orders, keeping their eyes and ears covered. Oh, and there's the, uh, that's the diabolical face. Fine, now you're scaring me. What's going on? Nobody should make direct eye contact with the drawn. But I can never dare to look away from him or to close my eyes, no matter how unbearable it may be. In the eyes of the drawn, there are the abyss that only I can endure, and there are things that shouldn't exist in this world. This is the punishment that you've obligated me to endure. A normal person would have gone mad thousands of times over if they had to put up with this. Thanks to you, I cannot even be graced with the insanity or lose my mind. All I can do is capture all of it in my eyes. Grr. Now we wait. Will it rise anew, or is it destined to be stuck in this pillar and spend eternity with me down in this place? So these pillars are employees, I'm assuming. We just need a little more time to find out. Now, do you finally realize what all these pillars contain? Well, consider yourself lucky today. At times, when the level of Cogito is adjusted inadequately, inadequately, some things that shouldn't exist come up as fragments. How funny that I say this, but they're like an adverse reaction that has its price for doing something unspeakable to a human being. The bucket can rise with some impurities mixed in with what we usually draw, such as the abyss within humanity, the subconscious, and all kinds of possibilities. I'll be honest, Bina's monologue here it kind of confuses me i'm i'm, I'm y'all may have explained it kind of what's going on earlier but i still have no idea kind of what this whole thing is i know it has something to do with the employees returning and solidifying it's like the graves yeah explain it down to me or i can i probably look like look it up on my own time but anyway from the past from the present even from the future all kinds of beings that have existed and will exist in this world given that they're outside of our dominion there's nothing we could do to govern them they float around aimlessly, resonating with the abnormalities and manifesting themselves in front of us when the moment comes. They're what you call the ordeals, okay? Thankfully, they react to the Clifoth deterrence, so we could put them to sleep like the abnormalities. Okay, but that's all we're able to do. Yes, as you've learned, extracting abnormalities is my job. Okay, wait a minute, okay, so the well is where the abnormalities exist. She brings them up, and that's where we get them from. Because she talked about earlier that the abnormalities come from beneath the corporation, I believe. So she's the one that pulls them up and extracts them. Okay. But creating them is Carmen's, who you buried a long time ago. Okay, so Carmen creates them. She's the mother of all abnormalities that have existed in this facility and of all that will emerge in the future. Okay, so we create the abnormalities like you guys mentioned in the comments. Right, okay. Tell me, how do you feel now that you know that those abnormalities that you faced above were part of these pillars? Okay. All right, so these are not graves. These are the abnormali abnormalities. It's an agonizing sight to confront, but it doesn't matter to you. Not at all. Or am I wrong? After all, erasing your memories and running away from them as if nothing had happened is your age-old specialty. Complete the day with every abnormality currently... Wait. As you're aware, abnormalities and ordeals are things that derive from the human mind and take physical form. That makes them possess the possibilities of the past, the present, and even the future. They are mystery and are, as such are unstable beings. However, we humans have never stopped digging for the truth. The des this desire is to understand it is not limited to the abnormalities. We yearn to know and understand everything. Complete the day with every abnormality currently within the facility. I'm assuming we just have to have a full facility. I'm assuming that's what that means. I'm a little confused on the word, wordage there. Ugh, okay, let's go, let's go record team. Bina actually, let's go Bina. Let's, let's expand Bina. And do we get research or is that it? I think we've got all the research for them. And we completed Hawkman's, but I don't think Hawkman had any story. I think they've like alternated their story. Mobile reduction bullets, a managerial bullet that reduces the mobility of abnormalities for a limited time. The movement speed of an abnormality will be reduced by 50% via overloading the Clifoth control. That's good for, like, I can think of immediately red. Anyway, let's go and get that research done. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, hang on. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so this, I believe, is technically 
Spina. So they've alternated. It's interesting. Because this is Hakma. You can tell this is Hakma due to the kind of white background. This is Bina due to the black background. Oh, okay, so we need to complete every... Okay, I got it. So we need to make sure that... Is it maximum observation level? Ah, which I think we do have. I think we're... I think we're pretty good on that, actually. Yeah, I'm sure it'll tell us in the next episode, but guys, that is going to cover it for this one. It was a very long one for me. I think we're almost two hours into recording. Uh, we had a lot of careful planning when fighting those Aleps, but we did it. Um, and I think next we're probably going to try to do Tefra's Core Suppression. Let me know what you guys think we should do if we could should focus on completing these missions. Honestly, we could do Tefra's and complete this one too. Um, so there is that. So we're not going to be able to complete Hawkmas until we complete these up here. So I, honestly, I think next episode is Tefarats. We got to try to do Tefarats. I think that's the only way we can somehow get this done. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, your feedback down below is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, liking and commenting also helps a ton for the channel. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day where it may be. As always, thank you for spending some of your time here. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye, everybody.